Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up EMU Deck to play Wii U games using the CEMU emulator. So, I just want to say this video is not condoning piracy, it is for educational purposes only. First of all, you need to switch over to desktop mode. To do that, you press the Steam button, you go to power, and then you go to switch to desktop. It takes a few seconds. You know, display switch to desktop. Okay, so we are now in desktop mode. So let me just cover a few things in terms of how to navigate desktop mode if this is the first time. First of all, you use the right trackpad to move your mouse. You can use the touch screen as well. I prefer the right trackpad, it's a lot more intuitive. You can click the trackpad for left click. You can also press the R2 button, the bumper for the right bumper. For left click and you can use L2 or you know the left bumper for left click I mean for right click that is okay so now what you want to do is first of all open up your web browser Firefox is installed by default and if it's not there you can just go to all applications Ooh. and scroll down and find it and the first thing you want to do is go to emudeck.com let me show you how to get the keyboard up because I can just click there and you know avoid the keyboard entirely but to get the keyboard up, you have to press the Steam button plus the X button on the face buttons. So press Steam and X. There you go, it comes up. Again, I don't need it because I can literally just use the first link here. So you want to go to emudeck.com, go to download, go to download installer. It's just saying you've got to copy the installer to the desktop, which again, I'm going to cover that. And it's downloaded now. So next we can close this down and by default it will be, if you open up your explorer, be installed in the download folder. If it's installed somewhere else because you've changed the settings in your web browser, feel free to navigate to that particular location. So I've got it right here, I've actually got two because I've actually downloaded it again. Let's copy, you know, it's a right click, copy, go to stop, right click, paste one file. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. Now open it up. You can just you just double click it either with the touch screen, the trackpad or the R2 button. Mine says, you know, quick and custom update. Yours will set, you know, be for an install, but the process is exactly the same. You want to go to custom update, make sure that is selected. Go to continue. Now select where you want your games to be installed. And I'm going to choose, you know, the SD card. And it's not just the game, it's also the, what's it called, the BIOS file as well. So bear that in mind, if you add BIOS files or anything like that, they'll need to be put onto an extra SD card if you have, or internal storage or custom directory. Click continue, choose your device, which for us is, you know, Steam Deck, by default it should be selected. Now, you choose the emulator. So I'm going to deselect RetroArch, that's what I was doing before, and basically deselect everything. And you just want to, you know, select CEMU, and that's the Wii U emulator. Click next, and now for the update emulator configuration, just select CEMU. Just a little note: if you have set up EMU Deck before, maybe for some other emulator like Duck Station or RPCS3, doing this process and deselecting them will not remove or reset any of those emulators. It just ignores them and doesn't do anything to it. So that's fine, you can just, you know, you, you don't have to select the ones you've already got again. Click continue. And now you just choose your theme for emulation station. I'll be covering emulation, emulation station soon. I prefer Epic Noir. And install homebrew game, just let no. And it's completing the installation. Shouldn't take long. If you do happen to select multiple different emulators, it can take a bit of time and if it is the first time you are doing it it can take a bit of time as well just wait patiently and it will be done but for me it shouldn't take very long at all probably just a few more seconds and we should be done so it's installing CEMU before it's Stony Steam ROMs Manager, which we'll be covering that momentarily. And there we go, it's all done now. So we can now add games. And to do that, you go to the installation directory. Again, for me, it's in the micro SD card. If we go here, primary, 
the emulation folder is what it would have installed. And if you go to ROMs, you go to Wii U. And I've already added a ROM, but if you go to ROMs, and they'll be in a format like this where you have a folder and a bunch of these folders as well. Bear that in mind. Now, what we also need, it's optional but highly recommended, that you have the keys.txt file. I cannot, you know, provide that for you, show you how to get it. Honestly, but if you Google Wii U keys.txt download, you do get it. You just want to copy and paste it into ROMs. And I've already got it on the desktop, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna right click with L2, copy, paste, and there we go. So that's it. The rest of it we can actually just leave as is, we don't need to mess around with anything else here. And now we can go off this, go back to EMU deck. Click launch Steam ROM manager. Click yes. And now from Steam ROM manager, you want to deselect the parsers toggle. Deselecting that would deselect everything and manually select emulation station DE and emulation station uh, or emulators. You might think, oh, those are the only two ones selected. No, they, the fear. Any emulator that you selected, their appropriate toggles further down, if they are further down, would have been selected as well. The problem with this is, if you have that particular emulator toggle selected, all the games, let's say if you've got 20 Wii U games, 100 PlayStation 1 games, maybe a 1,000 Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games, they all appear in your regular Steam Deck library. It'll become overwhelming. This way, it's more organized in like a little collection section, which I'll show you is just a lot better. Click save, VN error, that's fine. I'll finally save anyway, even with the error. Go to preview, and then click generate app list. Uh, you'll generate it and if you do have multiple emulators installed like I do I've got like literally you know all the different applications installed then you might thinking where are they if you maximize the screen the window then the rest appear as well just something to bear in mind and you can use the arrow to choose a different thumbnail you can press this icon here to you know select your own thumbnail and you know can download it as well if you want to and then maybe modify it and you just click save app list okie dokie so now i'm going to go off this and if we launch up emu deck again and now we're not going to go through the exact same process we're just going to go to tools and stuff and power tools is a pretty interesting one to install and because it allows you to you know, disable some threads to get better performance, feel free to do this. You'll need your sudo password for this. To get your sudo password, you just set it. Uh, but again, I'm gonna have a separate video covering, you know, configuring all this up and, you know, setting the password and whatnot. But you just go to your console, type in passwd and you can set it. But again, we don't really, you know, need to deal with that. There is a gyro DSU application and this allows you to set the Steam Deck so you can use the motion for your Wii U emulator. I have found I have not been able to get it to work. So what I'm gonna do is leave it out of this video. In a separate video, I am gonna install it via the manual method and show you it working that way. So if you're interested in gyro controls, feel free to check that video out. And other than that, we got like a compressor as well. But the compressor doesn't apply to us, so we can ignore that. One of the important things is update emulators. Every so often, just go here, just click, you know, update flat packs, update amp app images. You'll update everything that, you know, needs to be updated. Steam ROM manager takes you to where you were before. Save backup is a cool feature that allows you to do cloud saves, or, you know, of your emulator games to some sort of cloud storage like Dropbox, Google Drive, for example. And this is in beta, but it is a cool feature nevertheless, and one that I would recommend. And, you know, checking BIOS, we don't need to do that for the emulator that we are dealing with. And quick settings, not, nothing that we need to worry about. Emulator guides, if you go here, select the emulator, which is CEMU. It gives you, you know, the different shortcuts. 
and you know start and select is escape toggle screens is r4 swap screens are five blow mic is r3 also so it remains just talking about the re keys are required that's what we've already added and all you do if you click reset configuration if you have any problems you know uh, and let's let, let's say you change the configuration you want to reset it just click reset you know reset configuration and you're resetting you're all good to go now i can close this down last thing before we actually run a game and that is to launch up cemu directly here so any changes that you want to do to cemu including you know hacks and workarounds recommend to do it in this section because if you try and do it in game mode you the interface isn't very good like the top menu is missing and it's, it's just not a good experience so this is what i would recommend so if you Ooh, my trackpad seems to have stopped working which is strange but also i'll just use the mouse like so so if you want to you know change the you know settings you can go to strange i'm just gonna pause it and see what the issue is okay yes yeah, so i just had to reboot the steam deck because if you get the issue where you're the right trackpad isn't activating the mouse anymore just reboot the steam deck or first close the emu down using your you know your finger to try and trigger it there otherwise you know just reboot steam deck it should be fine okay so in here if you go to options general settings there's a few settings that you can you know deal with like graphics api you can turn it to open gl turn vsync on but most of the time you're going to leave it make sure async shader compile is on your help with performance and most of the other stuff honestly you can leave on off because like enabling fps you don't need it because steam has steam deck has built in diagnostic tools and the main other one would be um, really that's it for the most part you can because these controls are configured automatically so in terms of graphics packs and hacks if you right click your game you go to edit graphics packs and you can go to resolution increase the active resolution if there's any mods and if there's any workarounds for any problems so i'm just going to enable them but again, like I said, I recommend for each game that you do it in this interface, you'll get a better experience in terms of doing it. So you just down, we're just going to download it. Yep, that's fine. Sorry, all downloaded. There we go. That's all good. And we can launch the game here, but we're not going to launch it from here. So quit out of this. Go to return to gaming mode. Just going to double click that. Again, you can use your R2 button. You can use the trackpad or the screen to double click it. Now from the menu that's interface that's coming up, there's one main way that I would recommend that you launch your games up. There's not much benefit to using CEMU at this point via the EMU deck setup, just because it's not the most intuitive interface. So click the Steam button, go to Library, and you'll probably see this little tab here called Collections. Go to Emulation, find Emulation Station. And this is great because it has all your emulators. And in the case, in this case, we are interested in Wii U. Just scroll down, find Wii U, Wii U, go on it. You find the game, I'm going to do Super Mario Maker. You select it, and in there, you just go to like the code file, and then the whatever file is in here, whatever the name is. If we go to Su New Super Mario, it's called that. And the New Su Super Mario Maker, it is called what? A block or black block? And you just press A, it will launch it up. And the touch screen acts as the touch screen, you know, uh, as you was if you were using the actual Wii U gamepad. So you can just use the touch screen if you need a touch screen. And remember, it said press A, I had to press B because remember A and B in terms of the physical configuration are flipped and 
as our X and Y compared to something like an Xbox controller which is what the Steam Deck is more akin to that's how Nintendo does it as you can see I'll come around and obviously at this point you would die here is the touch screen it's pretty darn cool so that is it and obviously if you want to quit the game you just press the steam button and you just go to quit game or exit game and that's it that's how you set up CEMU emulator to play Wii U games on your steam deck using EMU deck to aid you really cool really useful and really easy to do if you have any questions though feel free to post in the discord group link in the description if you just want to post in the comments feel free to if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next steam deck video bye bye